Hi, I'm Natalie D'Addamio. I'm a mixed media artist, intuitive creativity coach, and shamanic practitioner. And today I'm going to talk to you about learning how to follow risk in our art, in our creative practice, and our lives. I don't see life separated from art um, because we're like living art and creativity and creation is always calling us and responding to us. But the thing about risk, whether you're in like a painting or your creative work, you know, you'll get the idea and um, have the urge of sometimes there's a lot of resistance that happens. So how do we learn how to trust risk and um, turn deeper inside to the process and practice of what it means to really um, like make that mark or take that moment or take that chance? Um, it starts by acknowledging that the head is kind of a bad program <laughs> all the thoughts we've ever been told and or told ourselves or all the external stuff that we let filter in it's like really a lot of it isn't even ours it's either family things or something you heard and it got like stuck there and then you're in the process of you moving forward you're getting blocked when really you just need to like make the decision and take a tiny action step that would be the second thing I would want to say. Take a tiny action step. It doesn't have to be a big leap. At times, though, sometimes a big leap is necessary in order to get us to the next place, whether that's in art or life. Um, but you're going to know how to trust that more the more you take the small steps towards it. That's the, like a funny thing. It's like our head wants to know um, the answer, if I do this, make this selection, will everything work out? You know, we're trying to think our way through it. When we know life really isn't linear, things go up and down. Our emotions, our, our the experiences that happen, our art, <laughs> and our creativity. Oftentimes, like sometimes there is like, a time and place for when you don't need to be so what's the word I'm looking for like insistent and obsessed but maybe that's just your nature <laughs> like in my case I'm just the more I've worked over the past like few years the more I've put myself in different places so but I was terrified you know even three years ago three four years ago to i would never do this now um, and that's the benefit of art and creativity and learning how to get stronger and more resilient with ourselves and trust the process and in the practice you know it's not always going to be linear and there is gonna, there are going to be detours actually we want to welcome the detours because they might have some secret ingredient to put into your work or put into your life or a new connection or a new inspiration that like really elevates and enhances what you're doing so but you know sometimes we're afraid to to try new things just because there you go this is what's always been working but what happens when the the thing pops up and you know that you have to go a different way you just know it in your being no one else is telling you you know it and that's when you need to rely on yourself and your own inner wisdom and um to think about dropping into the body more in that moment and like really listening to what the heart says i know that sounds cliche but um <laughs> Oftentimes we're all guided and there are little whispers from the universe and nudges and but sometimes we ignore that, you know, <laughs> um, and maybe sometimes we're just not ready to move forward and that's perfectly okay too. But if you know that you're ready and, um, and you are in resistance, it's learning how to um, step outside of yourself just a little bit and make that tiny, small action. Or maybe it's a big action. I don't know what you need. Only you know what you need, right? <laughs> and that will set you on the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it is in the doing <laughs> that um, we start to see our own reflection and connection mirrored back to us. And um, 
learn to trust ourselves a little bit more and that's where confidence comes from and that's where you know really dialing into like who you are as an artist creator and person and what you want to bring out into the world or what you what your next best step is so i hope this little talk inspires you to risk something this week that's the weekly challenge is to <laughs> where can you risk more in our life or your creative process and practice um i'm natalie Dadanio and i work with people one-to-one -one and <laughs> helping people break through fear and reclaim their um creativity and uh, <laughs> and um I could do that in many ways. You can always DM me and we can set up something individual for you. And um, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll have a lot more things coming out in the near future. Um, and, and check out my work at NatalieDadamia.com. Thank you.